Hello everybody, my name is Alpharkis, and don't mind the name change, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Moon. In the last episode, we came to this route, and I don't remember what else we did. Anyways, we are going to continue exploring this route, and uh, we're actually going to go to the graveyard. We're going to battle some people there, because that's what you do when you go to graveyards, you just battle the absolute crap out of people. Plus also because we need to train a little bit anyways. Um, I actually should pro should have probably gone back to heal before the start of this episode, so I'm actually going to do that now. Um, I know it's just a waste of time, but you know what? Honestly, I don't care. So we'll head back to the Pokemon Center and heal up, since we just caught that Ekans, and, you know, he's not doing too well. We kind of beat the crap out of him. Alright, here we are. Oh, well, I missed. There we go. There we go. And that's our team so far, by the way. Sorry about this angle. I don't know what's going on. Eh, it's a little better. Back on the route two, and we'll go into the cemetery. Explore around there a little bit. Hopefully I can get caught up and hopefully I can get the get Pokemon Ultra Sun done soon so I can well not only know what I'm doing, but also there's a TM back there, but also uh uh, see how this game goes, because I have no idea what happens. Like I kinda knew what happened in Pokemon Sun before playing it. Then I also beat it pretty quickly. But I have no idea what happens in Pokemon Ultra Sun, so... I know it's like the same storyline, but it kind of changes up towards the end. Go Rockruff. Alright, and that's actually a reference right there, that trainer. Oh yeah, this is confide, this stupid one. This trainer right here is a reference, so we're actually going to battle her. I use the moves they were so good at. Challenge with Pokemon Breeder Uki, or Uque, something like that. But she is, and she uses a Pikachu. That is actually a reference to the voice actor of Pikachu. For the anime. Why did it get so blurry? There we go. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Alright, we're just gonna keep biting it. It's just gonna keep blowing my stats. Uh, I hate static. There we go. Alright, now I need uh, something of one minute the status. There we go. Once to learn the move Howl, that's right, we are going to actually replace Happy Hour for that. I'm actually going to take this out so I can do Pokemon Refresh. I don't know why. Oh, never mind. I was about to say I'm really stupid. I was about to say I don't know why they put it on the bottom screen. It's so you can, you know, touch them. Freaking look at me being an idiot. Oh, he's so sad. Come on. There we go. Alright, and we're not going to do anything else with that. Uh, I know I should probably battle more trainers. 
Yeah, why not? We'll do it. Hi. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, his smile. His smile is a little bit contagious. Pick it back. Use a good old thunder fang on this. And down it goes. There we go. Alright. Uh, and we'll leave that we'll leave that little kid up there. And what nah nah nah, we'll go beat her. Uh, I Happy. This is why we need a fighting type. There's too many normal types around. Alright. Oh my god! Was not expecting that to do that much damage. Okay. Well then. Pablo go to level 14. Ooh, Pablo's close to evolving. Uh, you can forget. Because it's trying to learn Aqua Jet. Uh, yeah, forget Tackle. Or Pound. Alright, there we go. We defeated Preschooler and whatever her name was. Alright, and that's the basic premise of the cemetery. Uh, not really much left to do in here. We could catch a ghost type. That might be a good addition to the team, but, uh... I don't think we will. And what we're actually gonna do is... Because we, uh, we're gonna battle this kid. We're gonna battle just a lot of people today. A lot of battles. Because we need to get further in... In, uh in this game so we can catch up to Pokemon Moon so then we can start doing both Let's Plays at the same time. Which I think is a pretty cool idea, honestly. In all honesty. Because, I mean, like, playing them side by side, granted I won't get as much done as I am right now, but hey, you know? Ah! Then he used Minimize. I had the same problem in Pokemon Sun. Uh, I was about I was about to use tackle on that. Of course it avoided the attack. Of course it did. Of course it did. Of course. Just kill it. That wasn't a problem before. At least I don't remember it being a problem. I can screw to level eleven. You defeated preschooler Dylan. The preschooler piston stop! What? Anyways. We'll just keep moving on. There's a sticker right here. I'm gonna pick that up. Seven stickers. Alright, who's this guy? It's good for kids to experience their own journeys. Um, alright. Oh? That's what this is. I'm gonna sleep in this bed. There's a sad, musty odor of an old bed that no one has slept in for a long time. This trainer has left this parent to go adventuring. There's a book in there. Ah, I'm not gonna read it. Who, who reads these days? Pfft. Like, seriously. But over here... We're right by the sea, that's right. Welcome to my wonderful seaside motel. My Carbrella sure is something, ain't he? He nads passerby by br to bring them to me so I can send them down to the bay. He's actually been a little too good at his job, so I have no vacant rooms to offer you, but doesn't mean you can't you come for nothing. Here, follow me this way. Uh, before we do that, I'm actually going to heal Rockruff while we're here. Uh, use a potion. There we go. Never had to do that before. This is where 
actually things start getting a little bit different if they haven't already. Right with the totem uh, stickers. We're gonna battle this guy. Alola Trow Goer. Have you seen a surfer before? There we go, that's a better voice for him. We actually have not seen a surfer, so this is a new trainer type. And he has a deli bird of all things. And we're just gonna send a rock off. We should probably. Huh. Excuse me, we should probably change this out so other people can get some experience. There we go. Rockruff is now level 13, 12 levels away from leveling up. Grubbin go to level 10. Grubbin learned Bite. That's good. When does he evolve? I don't know. But now we're gonna go down here. Because... This is the Mantine Surfing Area. Of course, we can't Mantine Surf yet. At least, not from what I know. Don't need to talk to any of those people in the tents because they're just battle points, or beach points as I say. Hey little cousin, welcome to my big wave beach, or something like that I didn't see. You come to exactly the right place if you're looking for some Mantine Surf. Mantine Surf is just what it says on the box, you climb up on the back of our Mantine and then you surf. Surfing is the best sport where you can enjoy traveling across the ocean waves. Though youngsters like yourself who want to get into Mantine Surf have to toughen up and show that they can really handle it first. So <coughs> Surfing is a bit of a dangerous sport, to be fair. Come back when you're as tough as a real kahuna, okay? Me and Mantine will be holding our breath in anticipation until you do. Wait, do Mantine breathe? Do they even hold their breath? Anyways, um, when you try to leave this place, however... You better be ready for some mischief masters of Team Skull to do some Mantine Surfing too. Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear this. The chair is kind of far back. I'm not even sitting in it here. Let me move it closer. Move as close as I possibly can. Oh, Team Skull, you know you guys can't ride here. What's up with that? We look like kids to you or something? No, the real reason is... Yeah, the real reason is, every time you try, you keep up those ridiculous dance moves, even on the Mantine's backs, and then you end up in the water. You want us to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo! That's all we've got! Man, forget her, B! We're Team Skull! No one can stop us from acting hard-headed! Somebody, please help these numbskulls away from my, from my Mantine! I'm on the case! What are you looking at, short stuff, huh, huh? Wait, you're that kid! You want to scrap Tiny Trainer A battle, yo! Uh, you might, you might beat us in Hawaii City, but we'll put our heads together and beat you this time! Will you now, really? Oh, you're gonna send out drowsy, huh? Fa oh, crap. Fascinating. Uh, we're just gonna, you know, give you a little kachomp. Goodbye. Seriously, Holmes Ice? You're too strong for a kid, yo. Oh, I gotta go. Gotta go make someone else miserable to feel better. Let's go mess with Elima again, B. I'm down with that. Rooting Cavern's pretty close by anyway. Hey, you! You better listen to what my homie says and drill it into that thick skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget, numbskull. Nice one, kid. Mantine won't be subjected to their terrible surfing skills thanks to you. You're a decent trainer, just like I'd expect from a trial goer on the island challenge. Why don't you take this from me? We obtained a fresh water. I bet you could take on Captain Alima's trial with how well you handled that battle. Even Kahuna Hollow would probably say you're ready to take on all of Alola. If he says you're ready, come back here, and we'll get you up on man time in no time. Alright then. Well, now you can go back here. She was blocking the path earlier. 
And you can not walk through trees. I thought you could. There's a Pukamuka. You can play with it. I don't think I will. I don't get what the advantages of playing with the Pokemon that are out and about. Hi, Pukamuku. Bye, Pukamuku. So, we are going to head off into the next city, I believe. Uh, no real need to really go into the berry fields either. We kind of handled that in Pokemon Moon. Alright. Murkrow. I think it's fine. Thunderfang. Ah! Oh, they actually did a lot of damage. And by a lot, I mean six. That! Now that did a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage! The defeated Gentleman Stanley. Marco, you must shine brighter. $2,000, wow. Impressive. Alright, we're not going to go into the berry fields. Oh. Vernon Cavern, showing very high numbers. It would. Er, it would. I can't. <laughs> In the heart of this cave lies an item that has an undeniable connection to the blinding one. I certainly would like to investigate this place. Shall we go in, then? No. It seems that people are not allowed within this Vernon Cavern without a specific reason. We should ask the president to arrange some special accommodations on our behalf. We don't yet have the means to capture Pokemon on our own, after all. Huh. Interesting. See, because I didn't read what they said, I totally skipped to their text in uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun. Uh, grass. Oh, hi. You weren't even look. Okay, I guess you were. Challenged by Lass Isabella. So now, Flabebe. Now, actually, we can use our newly found partner to uh, take out this Flabebe and get some more experience on that. Uh, go, Ekans. He's fine with one damage. Impressive. Poison sting. Oh, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. But it poisoned. Well, oh my god, I keep hitting the camera. As long as it keeps doing one damage, I think we'll be okay. It's going to keep doing one damage. And then... One more hit should do the trick. No level ups. Oh, right. What? Anyways. We shall grab this item. Found a super potion. And we shall... Oh. Hi, how? How's it, Arceus? Your Pokemon doing all right? Yeah, fine. Well, I know Lynn and the rest of my team have seen better days, that's for sure. Come on, Arceus, let's talk about the PMC! You know that Vernon Cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of, like, sacred to Tapu Coco. You weren't even allowed to go in unless you're on the island challenge. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Arceus, you lucky thing. Three more revives. Awesome. Revives are solid items to have. If your Pokemon faints in battle and can't go on, then revive will perk them right back up. But you probably won't find revives here. Do you know that Pokemon sometimes sell different things? And not just that. The two clerks at the counter even sell different things from one another. 
Oh yeah! Well, you've got that road index, right? If you tap on, tap it and play with it a lot, then you can use the rotor loader too, right? That's mm -hmm. That's right! Give me a tap on your eye when my eyes flash! Awesome! Do it, Arceus! Do it! Try- Hey guys, sorry about that, but we got roto boosts. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what all you saw, because my camera just, you know, cut out. Uh, and I'm totally skipping that text, because I really don't care. We're gonna heal up our Pokemon, and then we're gonna end off the episode here, seeing how my- Because I forgot to delete something, how my iPad just kinda cut there. I was gonna stop here anyways, but I didn't want to leave you guys on just a random cut. Of course, I would never do that to you, except for I've done it in the past. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you have not, and don't forget to ring that bell if you want to get notifications of when I upload next. And I will see all you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye 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 bye.